Welcome to today's video where we are going to create two looks using the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Makina palette. This palette has such a beautiful color story and a beautiful yet heart-wrenching backstory. And if you're eager to hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather Eaglin. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. If you guys love those things too, then I hope you will subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. This palette came in the mail with this card, and there's no way I can read it without crying. So if you guys want to read it, you can pause this video here and read it for yourself. This palette has 24 shades with a mix of mattes, duochromes, and topper shades. It is absolutely beautiful. My swatches honestly don't do it justice at all. I will try to remember to link some Instagram accounts down below so you can see better swatches of it. As a lot of you may already know, I lost my dad in 2013, and then I lost my stepdad on Valentine's Day this year. And he was more like my dad than my biological dad was. But it's still something that's very hard for me to talk about. Which is why I cannot read that card. Because every time I look at it, I cry. But I really wanted to support this release. Because I know all too well what it's like to lose a parent. Especially to cancer. And unless you've lost someone that you consider a parent, you can't even wrap your mind around what it's like because it's so much worse than you can even imagine. But let's get away from all the sad shit and go on to the palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. It's almost a rainbow palette, but not quite. It's missing a few shades. I do like the grungier side of this. The greens, I didn't get to use them in a look by themselves. Because I recently just did a green look in my giveaway video. And if you guys haven't seen that, I'll make sure it pops up in the cards here. I highly recommend you check it out and sign up for the giveaway. But I did a green look in that video, so I didn't want to do it again. But I'm really drawn to that green row. And just to apologize ahead of time, I'm sorry I sound so winded in this video. I think I'm coming down with something. I've been sick for the last few days. I was actually sick when I filmed this video. So my energy is a little off as well. But just stay with me. So I started with the shade Burn. And it's a red. It's so freaking beautiful. It's almost like fluorescent. And I just packed that on with a Singe Beauty EO4 brush. Also, who picked up the new Singe Beauty release? All of the face brushes. And she did two extra eye brushes, or two new eye brushes, I should say, and a little poof and a beauty sponge, like a beauty blender. But I bought all of the face brushes and the two new eye brushes. I'm so excited. They haven't shipped yet, but I just wanted to throw that out there. I'll link her site down in the description box. But anyways... I just blended that out with a large blending brush and then I went into the shade Air Code and it's like a peach and I just used a similar type of brush and I just packed that in the inner corner and then used it to blend out the shade Burn which was that bright red shade. I've just used my Sigma Switch to clean off my Singe Beauty EO4 and I went into the shade Human which is like a deep brick red. And I just packed that on the crease and blended it out. Using my Singe Beauty EL1, I'm going into the shade Machine, which is like a deep olive green. And I'm just using this shade to deepen up the outer corner. It will make sense once I put the shimmers on. But at the moment, you're probably wondering why I used a green shade on top of red when we already have black in the palette. But like I said, it will make sense once we get into the shimmer part. Now using my Singe Beauty EO2, I'm going back into the shade Burn and I'm just picking up a little more of that. And I'm using that to really blend out that deep green shade. Switching to my Singe Beauty EO4 brush, I'm going back into that same shade. And I'm just going to sweep that along the lower lash line. 
I never set my eye primer and always set under my eyes, so the color doesn't work as well on a set base, but I still got it to build up pretty good. You guys don't have to have the same brushes that I use. I would recommend if you don't have these brushes to just go on their site. Like I said, I have all my favorite brushes linked in my description box and just take pictures of the brushes. That way you can see the shapes and you can go through your collection and find similar brushes to what I'm talking about. And you can just replicate my technique that way and try recreating the look and you just find out what types of brushes I like to use but now I'm using my NYX glitter glue and I've just applied it to my lid where I plan on putting down the shimmers and first I'm going into the shade conduct it's like a peach with a gold flip duochrome it's absolutely beautiful I've just used a packing brush and I placed that closest to the mats on the outer corner now I'm going into the shade sci-fi and I'm using the other side of my brush for that. This shade is so freaking beautiful. It's like a yellow with a green shift topper shade. It's really pretty and I'm just placing that on the inner portion of my lid and I'm just trying to blend it into that first shade I put down, the shade conduct and I think this look is really pretty. The yellow is why I used the green in my outer corner because I really wanted to be able to tie it in together. Now using a pencil brush, this one's from BH Cosmetics, and I picked up the white metallic. It's like a white gold. It's called Switch, and I'm just putting that in my inner corner to help brighten it some. I went back into the shade Sci-Fi and I added a little more of that to the lid. Now using a pencil brush, this one is from Sigma. I'm going into the black shade to just deepen up my outer corner a little bit more. Y'all know I love the contrast. Here is the finished look. A little information about what is on my face. I use the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Noctilucent Palette, the Cream Blush from Sigma in the shade Quarter Rosa, and I topped it with the Scooby-Doo Blush Duo from Glam Light Cosmetics. I just used the pink shade. I used the ABH lip liner in the shade Muted Mauve and the L'Oreal Color Reach lipstick in the shade Peach Fuzz. And here's the finished look. I think that the yellow with the reds was a really good idea. I loved it. Now let's get into look number two. On my lips in this look, I'm wearing the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Creative, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Blossom, the same Sigma Quarter Rosa Cream Blush, and the Alice in Wonderland from Sigma Blush in the shade Paint the Roses. Using a medium sweeper brush, this one is from Dew Color. I'm going into the shade AI, which is like a light pastel blue, and I'm just packing that into my inner corner and blending it out a little as I go. I think out of the two looks I created, this one is my favorite. I stick a lot to the blues, purples, and the pinks, and I love how the look turned out. But now using that same brush, I'm going into the matte white, and I'm just adding a little bit of that to brighten up the inner corner. I really love the matte whites in her palette. I just think they're freaking awesome. Now using a larger BH Cosmetics shading brush, I'm going into the shade Glitch, which is just a purple. And I'm just packing that in my crease where I want the darkest color to be. In the first look, I started with the lightest color and then worked my way into the deepest shade. This one, I'm kind of starting with one of the darker colors and then I'll blend it out with the lighter shades. I just like trying different techniques. I'm not really used to the Blend Bunny formula yet, so I recommend doing that with brands you're not used to. All eyeshadows are not created equal and a lot of formulas require different techniques. That's why I love watching YouTube because you learn different ways of applying eyeshadow. I've done my eyeshadow the same way for years and I recently started watching Betty Jean this year and I picked up on her technique and I actually like hers a lot better than I like my own. So now I try to do it her way. 
And that is also the reason I switched to the E27 Detailed Blending Brush by Sigma. And I've just went back into that same shade, the purple. And I'm using this brush instead because I noticed it works better with the deeper mattes. And the shading brushes that I typically use to pack on the color. And then I'll typically go back in with another brush and blend it out. But I like this technique better with the Blend Bunny formula. Now I'm just using a medium blending brush and I'm blending out that purple shade. Now using a large blending brush. This one is from the Glamlight Scooby-Doo collection. I have just went into the shade Enamored, which is a beautiful pink. And I'm just using that to blend on the edges of that purple shade and really smoke it out and I'm trying to create the shape that I want for this eye look now. Going back in with that medium shading brush, I'm picking up more of the shade Glitch and I'm just using this to deepen up that purple shade. I lost some of it when I was blending out the pink and I'm just re-intensifying that color. Using my BH Cosmetics shading brush, I'm going back into the shade enamored and I'm just using this so I can really deepen up that pink shade and slightly blend on the edges of that purple because I don't want to muddy it up again like I did earlier. Sometimes you can over blend. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't for a long time. There's not a lot of tutorials on YouTube anymore. It's mostly just people trying new makeup and don't get me wrong I love those videos too but it's hard to find like tutorials and when I first got into makeup that was something that I was missing with YouTube. No one really explained the brushes or anything like that and I'm completely self-taught so I learned through trial and error and in my videos I hope I can help people skip all of that and they can just get to the good part but I just used that same shading brush and I went into the shade Oxytocin. It's like a magenta and I just used that in between that deep purple and the pink shade. Now using a pencil brush, I'm going into the shade Emote and it's just a really deep purple and I'm just using that to really deepen up the outer V. Also remember, if you don't like your outer corner being that dark, you don't have to add all the deep shades that I add. I know. A lot of people don't like that, but I know a lot of people do as well. Now I'm just using a small smudging brush and I went into the shade AI and I've just put that on my lower lash line in the inner corner. Now I'm going into the shade Flawed. It's like a bluish purple shade. It kind of reminds me of Prance from the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners and I'm just sweeping that along the lower lash line. As you can see, it's not sticking well because I have set underneath my eye. So I recommend probably doing your eyes before you do your base. Then you won't have to worry about stuff like that. And now using a really small smudging brush, I went into the shade Glitch and I'm just using that to try to deepen that up. Because it's still not sticking to that set base I'm just going into the deeper purple which is emote and it's finally exactly how I wanted it and I'm just pressing that along the lower lash line and taking it into that outer corner and now using that first shading brush I'm going into that shade AI and I'm just using that to blend it out I really like the look of it once it was complete now going in with my NYX Glitter Glue and I'm using a packing brush. This one is from Morphe. I don't like their brushes. I don't recommend them. I don't understand how people recommended them. All of the ones that I have are falling apart. This one's not bad. I don't know. Maybe it's the set I got. It was the James Charles set, but I wish I didn't get it. It was such a waste of money. But I just apply that to my lid. Now going into the shade Mortality. It's another duochrome. It's pink with a gold shift. And I'm just applying that to the outer corner of my lid in between the mattes and the lighter shade I plan on using. This shade is called Sideborg and it's freaking awesome. This is going to be the shade that makes it hard for you to recreate this look. It's like a topper shade but it's fluorescent. 
it's so freaking bright as you can see it's like oh my god it looks like there's a blue light on my face or something it's very beautiful it has like pink and blue like glitter flakes in it but when you put it on the eye with a glitter primer it just shows up bright like that and you could tell that I'm happy as hell about it too and back to what I was saying about the Morphe brushes, they have been falling apart since the day I bought them. And the white brushes that are in that set literally caused a sore on my eye because they were so freaking scratchy while I was trying to blend. I bought them, I think, in 2021. I have no idea what their brushes are like now, but I'm just saying out of what I have, I highly recommend that you stay away from them because they really suck. Now going in with a pencil brush, this one is from Dew Color. I went into the shade Oxytocin and I'm just using that to blend the mattes into the shade Mortality, which was that shimmer shade. I want it to be a little more smooth and now I'm going into the shade Emote and I'm just going to use that to deepen the outer corner back up and make sure it's blended into the shade Oxytocin. And because I can't help myself, I'm going into the black matte. It's called Shutdown. And I'm just going to apply a little more of that to my outer corner to just deepen it up a little more. I think the depth that I added to this look really makes that blue pop even more. Now using a small smudging brush, I'm going back into that black and I'm just applying some of that to the very edge of my lower lash line on the outer corner. And because of the shade Cyborg, which is the blue one, is a topper shade, it, that means it's also transparent. It has a clear base, so it works great as a highlighter, too. And I really love this. It is so freaking pretty. You'll see it better at the towards the end of the video when I show you the up-close look. But now I'm going into my Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlighting Palette, and I'm using the shade Phenomena. And I'm just using that pink to mix in with the blue. And it really pulls the highlight into the eye look as well. Here is the finished look. I used the Melt Cream Liner in the shade Nightshade. And I also used ColourPop's Prance. Here is an up-close view of the look. I love it. It's my favorite out of the two. But you guys will have to let me know down below which eye look was your favorite. I think this palette out of the palettes I own from Blend Bunny Cosmetics is probably my favorite. Maybe it's because of what it represents. I don't know, but I'm going to be straight with you. Blend Bunny has a good formula, but they're not in my top five. I have a harder time working with their eyeshadows than I do some other brands, and it might be because they're more pigmented, but... They're not in my top five, but if you love Blend Bunny, then I think you will love this palette. It's beautiful. Everything it represents is beautiful, and I'm still really glad that I have it. Let me know your thoughts down below, and thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end, and until next time, bye!